Hi everyone, I am glad to see you on my channel. My name is Inna and I am a nail master. On my channel you can find many interesting and beautiful nail designs that I show step by step, so everyone can repeat it. So subscribe not to miss new videos and click the bell to receive notifications. Today I am working with these hands. This client came to me for the first time and she wants to have no more breakages and chips on her nails. I will try to fulfill her wish. I remove the old material and correct the length with a bit. I necessarily remove all the detachments. They formed on the free edge due to the nail break. I use a nail file to shape the free edge. Not paying attention to the broken corner, I'll fix it later. I file the rest of the nails and shape them. From the points of finger groove I align around the side line to the end. I pass the nail file on the surface, removing the gloss from the overgrown part of the nail plate. With a nail file I lightly pass over the nail. I do not press on it, otherwise I can sew the natural nail. I move the cuticle aside with an orange stick and open subcuticular pocket. This is a required step. I used to ignore it before, because I thought that I can use a milling bead to lift the cuticle. But I was wrong, the manicure was not clean. The skin stuck to the nail plate and the bit didn't detach it from the nail, but vice versa, it tore it up. The wounds turned out. The problem was solved only when I began to open the subcuticular pocket in a separate stage. And it should be done accurately. You need to be sure that the cuticle is moved away from the nail everywhere, especially in the corners. Only when you carefully open the subcuticular pocket, you can start cleaning the pterygium with a bit. That's what I'm doing right now. I work at a speed of 17,000 revolutions. I work with the reverse mode. That is in forward mode, I work from the left side. When everything is clear on the left, I turn the device into reverse mode and work on the right side. Now I clean the cuticle with a ball bead in forward mode at a speed of 6000 revolutions. First I polish the side line, remove the callous areas of the skin. Then I pass the bead along the inner side of the cuticle, because of that the cuticle strip is lifted even more. Then I move the ball bead straight along this white strip and clean it off. The last step is to polish the left side. I apply primer to the prepared nails. Next, the primer layer of the rubber base. The broken corner needs to be recovered. The easiest way to do this is using a poly gel. I put a small amount of material on the nail and form the missing part of the nail with an orange stick. I clean up the dust. I file, shape, align and make the nail visually the same as the rest of the nails. And now the repaired nails are no different from the rest. 
time for the strengthening. I will strengthen the nails with gel. It's very simple and the nails become really strong. A client came to me with broken nails. The strengthening was done with a base coat. And since it was holding badly, I don't want to do the same. I don't want the client to come back again with broken nails. So I take a gel for strengthening. Here such a beauty turned out. I like to admire the strength and camouflage nails. I slightly file the surface with a bit, remove small swellings on the sides. I remove the natural nail from the inside. Strengthening with a solid material allows me to do this, and it protects me from the inside detachments of the natural nail. I apply color to the nails where there will be no design. I leave the stands well pigmented shade in one layer. Right away I even out the color near the cuticle with a thin brush. The design. I apply the same shade along the perimeter of the nail, with a wavy line inside. I add a little white gel polish to this color. I apply the shade inside a dark purple spot. I add even more white gel polish and fill the remaining area with this light shade. I draw some chaotic lines with black gel paint. Somewhere I draw a loop, somewhere just a wavy line. And I add some threads with a gold gel paint. I cover all nails with a top coat. And here is such a simple but very beautiful and interesting design turned out. The correction is complete, the nails are repaired. And here are the same nails a month later. Everything was holding great. There are no chips, no breakages. Everything as the client wanted. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. If so, win for your likes. I would be very pleased. Subscribe to the channel. Let's be friends. That's all for today. All the best and have a good day.